Hi good people, Titus here and today we're going to be doing a quick troubleshooting tips video on animations. So if you've ever worked in Unreal Engine and you've added some animation data, you may have found yourself where you run into a scenario where your animation doesn't look quite right. Uh, it looks like the character is kind of like um, rubber banding back and forth. And this may happen more aggressively depending on the animation state that you're moving in. And you get this sort of effect. So what's going on here? Um, well, I, in this demonstration, I'm actually showing my capsule component just to kind of illustrate the point. Uh, essentially, the movement that's happening in Unreal Engine is applying to the capsule. So I'm actually moving the capsule around. Uh, inside the capsule, we have the animation blueprint, but the animation data is actually not in place. It's moving along the z-axis. So when the animation goes, it kind of leaves its root component. Uh, and then once the end of the animation is reached, it snaps back to the capsule component. So that's why you get a lot of this weirdness. Um, so you have a few ways you can address this. Um, you likely got your animations from Mixamo, um, and that's probably why you're seeing this. Um, or maybe when you're animating in your 3D software, um, you just didn't animate it in place. Um, but the quickest fix, um, it's not the greatest, uh, but you actually can go into uh, the actual um, animation that's giving you the trouble. And on the left hand side, you can scroll down and there is a enable root motion. You can check that. And then you can check the box for force the root lock. And then usually the reference pose or the animation first frame is pretty good to work with. And assuming you have your axis aligned correctly when you export the animation, that is X forward, Z up, uh, then you'll get a somewhat okay result, as you can see here. Uh, it's not perfect, it's not great, um, which is why I'm gonna talk about the better fixes. So the better way to fix this is actually you can do it um, in Mixamo. So if you actually got your software from Mixamo, um, there was likely an option when you were dealing with the, uh, the animation uh, for a checkbox to do in place. If you simply go back and you check that box and then you re-download um, the animations and then re-import them into Unreal, that'll solve your problem. Uh, so that is a much more elegant fix. Uh, but sometimes not all of the um, animations in Mixamo have the in place option. So you might see this is missing. And that just means the, the person that did the animations for it didn't include it. Um, so I'll give you another fix for that. Uh, what you're going to need to do is um, open up your animations that you downloaded into a 3D modeling software, such as Blender. Um, so let me go over here, and then you can see our Blender character uh, right here. So now if I play the state, you see he's moving forward, and we need to basically have this animation locked. Um, so what we can do is come up, and I'm going to try and drag a new window up here. I'm going to change this to be the graph editor. And this is a look a little bit scary, but uh, with Mixamo, it's always going to be on the hips. So the root, you want to modify the root bone. If you have trouble finding it, another easy way to find it is it's the, the bone that has the highest change in the graph. So it's basically going to be the tallest peak. Um, but with Mixamo, if you're doing that, it's almost always the hip bone. So you can expand that out, and we're going to be dealing with locations only, and our issue is the z-axis. So if we select the z-location and do Shift-H, that will hide everything else in the graph, and then I can come to the graph and press the Home key, and then it will frame the selection, and you can kind of see the movement coming along here uh, in the z-change. So all we need to do is basically snap all these values to zero so they don't change. And that'll move our, um, our animation to play in place. It's easy enough, you just go to key, snap, and then uh, selection to current value. And that'll snap it down. And now when we play the animation, you can see it's in place. And then if you have multiple animations, uh, we can actually come to our uh, dope sheet, change it to the action editor, and I can go from my walk to my run. And you can see my run is doing the same thing. 
So again, I'm already inside here. I can go to hips, select my Z location, shift H, so I hide everything else, then key, snap, selection to cursor value. And now when I play my run animation, you can see it's actually in place. And then my next animation that might give me trouble is my jump. Uh, if I play the jump, you can see it's moving along the Z axis, it's transforming. So more of the same, I can just expand out the hips, select the Z location, shift H, I can press home if I want to frame, you can see it's in the negative direction here. I can key, snap, selection of cursor value. And now when I play that, I have this fancy little jump animation, but it's in place, so that's going to work for us now. So now what you would do is you just um, simply uh, select your entire object, including the armature, and you go to File, Export, FTX, and then when you're exporting, um, just make sure that you have selected objects and that you do uh, Unreal Engine, this is for Unreal Engine, you do X forward and Z up, like this. Also make sure on the armature selection, add leaf bones is not checked. And then you should be able to export that and then import it in Unreal without issue. So now if we come back to Unreal Engine, uh, I actually have another character. We'll do worker number three. And now you'll see this worker has the correct animation state. We're just moving the capsule and the mesh is staying inside of it no matter which animation state I move to, even if I go to falling or jumping. Alright everyone, hope this helps you out in your projects, but as always, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.